When you install Python on your computer, you are also installing some of its built-in functions. This means you won't need to type their code every time you use them. These functions are already on your computer and can be applied directly. The function type allows you to obtain the type of variable you use as an argument. Like in this cell, type of 10 gives int for integer. The int, float, and string functions transform their arguments in an integer, float, and string data type, respectively. This is why 5.0 was converted to 5, 3 was converted to 3.0, and the number 500 became text. Great! Now, let me show you a few other built-in functions that are quite useful. Max returns the highest value from a sequence of numbers. This is why Max returned a value of 30 as an output in his cell. Good. Min does just the opposite. It returns the lowest value from a sequence. So, we get 10 in that cell over here. It is the smallest among 10, 20, and 30. Another built-in function, abs, allows you to obtain the absolute value of its argument. Let z be equal to minus 20. If we apply the abs function to z, the result will be its absolute value of 20. See? Perfect! An essential function that can help you a great deal is sum. It will calculate the sum of all the elements in a list designated as an argument. Consider the following list made of 1, 2, 3, and 4 as its data. When I type sum list 1, my output will be equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. The sum of these numbers equals 10. Round returns the float of its argument, rounded to a specified number of digits after the decimal point. Round 3.555 with two digits after the decimal point will turn into 3.56. If the number of digits is not indicated, it defaults to zero. 3.2 is rounded down to 3.0. Great! If you are interested in elevating 2 to the power of 10, you know you could type 2 double star 10. You can get the same result if you use the PAL function, which stands for power. Write PAL and in the parentheses, specify the base and the power separated by a comma. In our case, 2 comma 10. Execute with shift and enter and voila! 1024. And what if you wanted to see how many elements there are in an object? The len function, as in length, is going to help you do that. If you choose a string as an argument, the len function will tell you how many characters there are in a word. For instance, in the word mathematics, we have 11 characters. There are many other built-in functions in Python, but these are a few examples you will often need to use when programming. Thank you for watching.